I remember coming downstairs and telling my wife that I was very excited. So it's like a childhood dream come true. It was eventually. Why did you choose this one? I think it chose me in a way. When I was a child, I found a book in the public library just about this problem. The problem itself was on the cover and it explained the, the history and the, the fact that Fermat had written it down and said he had a wonderful proof, mm -hmm. but his margin was too small, he couldn't write it down, mm -hmm. um, and that no one had ever found a proof. So it's like a childhood dream come true. It was eventually, yes. The moment I knew it was possible was perhaps in 1991. But the moment I knew it was solved was, uh, was later in 94. And uh, I remember coming downstairs and telling my wife that I was very excited that this was, this was it. Uh, the beginning part is it can be frustrating, it's very, uh, you're very lost. You, you try many different things and you, they don't work. You think you solve it and then you realize, oh no, you've made a, a mistake. You know, in, in many ways, research is, is just trial and error mm. uh, and a lot of error yeah. <laughs> for the trials. But some parts of what you do are correct and you keep those and you build more and more and you develop your intuition and it, it speeds up. So initially it's very slow because you don't know where to look and you don't know how to find the first steps. But as you go further, you get more and more skilled in this new approach and then it, it gets faster and faster and your mind thinks very quickly and, and it's very exciting. And then one day you, you find a, a big piece of the answer and, and it's, it's just an enormous thrill.